Hi everybody and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another one of my course vlogs. And we're out here for the back nine at the spectacular Classic Club out here in Palm Desert, California. Hey, if you're new to the channel, please don't forget to click the subscribe button down below. I'd love to have you back here week after week for some more golf. And if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. It really does help me know, let me know you're out there. Hey, let's head on out to the 10th hole, a very long par four, 475 yards. Here we go. Now this back nine starts off fast and strong. Here with the 10th hole Italian stone pine, you'll see all the construction on the right hand side is gonna be the new Palm Desert Arena. Gonna be a big basketball sized arena for concerts and events. But here, let's focus on this hard and difficult par four. Lay off to the left hand side with your tee shot. Just uh, avoid all the water down the right. There's not going to be any sand to deal with here on this hole. Just all of the water wrapping all the way around the green as well. The green is a little bit perched from the fairway, just a little bit. And today we're facing that back hole location, but luckily the wind was behind me. It was a little bit swirly out here as when you're on the north side of the 10 freeway, you are just subject to all of the wind out here in the Coachella Valley. And it was just about picking up. 175 downwind off of this uphill lie, I sent my 145 yard pitching wedge all the way there. Just got on the green, there's no way I could have hit one more club, a good 25 feet underneath the hole. Just looking to cozy it on up there. That's our first tap in par of the day, and we're on to the 11th. One of the most beautiful holes on the entire golf course. Three bridges. Well, I'll let you count them. Off the tee, over the water, and down the left hand side. Aim at the first of the two bunkers. That's gonna be a great aiming spot for you and giving you the most width of the fairway. If you have the distance, you can take it just around the corner here and really open up your shot into the green. Now, over water again into the green and today we're facing a front right hole location. And as you can see, there is zero fairway on that side of the, of the water no bailout, you got to go right for the flag. Now another one that I'm able to send straight with the wind here and cut it off of those bunkers right down Main Street, leaving myself 140 yards into this flag. Now that's normally my comfortable pitching wedge number and this wind was now a crosswind and uh, I was just gonna play a comfortable wedge here, hoping that if the wind caught it, it would go a little bit deep. But man, oh man, I nailed this one perfectly to three feet. Ah, the first birdie of the back nine sends me down to one over par as we head to Annie's Oasis, this beautiful par three is gonna play 162 yards from the tips to the middle of the green. But today we're facing a front hole location, gonna bring the entirety of that waterfall into play. Precision is a must. Now again, this was a perfect number for my pitching wedge as I had a slight helping breeze, but it was mostly off the left. You can see the flag there whipping in the breeze. This was definitely going to be a putter here from the fringe, just a little hop out of the fringe and down the hill to the hole, leaving it down there to two feet for another comfy tap in bar. Now here, the 13th hole, homeward bound. We're going to be at the furthest point in the property right now. You're all the way out there and you're finally turning around and starting to head back home. This tee shot is uphill and those bunkers down the left is going to serve as the heroic carry for this hole. I believe it was about 275 yards to carry the right hand bunker and about 305 to carry the far left hand side. Now, the more you carry, the better you're off into this green as it is well protected by all those bunkers and perched up above all the area around it. Now, 
Now this was facing right back into the teeth of the wind, so I was going down the middle or right hand side of those bunkers and had plenty of air under it to get it down into the fairway. 108 yards back into the breeze, I was playing this for about 120 and hit a flush gap wedge here and just barely got it over the lip of the bunker. It was sitting here in the dead Bermuda grass. It's beautiful to look at, but horrible to play out of. I just couldn't hit a good chip shot here. Man, oh man, these greens of the Classic Club are rolling perfect, and sometimes they just really turn in the wrong way. Number 14 here, a awesome par five, heading right back into the wind again today. Roadrunner is going to test your accuracy all the way through. It's a narrowing par five, getting skinnier and skinnier as we get towards the hole. Now, the bunker on the right was reachable, about 265 to reach, and I believe it was about 285 to clear. Now, the one on the left was about 310 or 315 to reach. Ideally, uh, my drive is going to be landing right in between those two numbers, so this was a very comfortable looking tee shot for me. And coming into the green, there is plenty of bunkers to protect your approach. It looks like you want to be over on the right hand side to give yourself a great angle into this green. Relatively flat, it is sloped from back to front, and today that hole location is snug over there on the left hand side, protected well by that deep bunker. Another tee shot right back into the wind. I was just gonna play my simple cut and try to keep it right down the middle. It was mission accomplished and 290 yards back into the wind. I'm gonna give it all I got with my three wood. I was able to hit this one flush and keep it down underneath the trees. This ball landed perfectly and bounded up onto the front of the green. About 50 feet here for Eagle. I was really trying to give it a go as it was a pretty simple putt. I left it just behind the hole about three feet and we're just going to tap it in for another birdie, sending us back down to one over par within reach of even par. And we're going to keep our foot down to the floor here on the 15th hole golfers paradise. Well, that looks like just a whole bunch of trouble down there. I don't know about paradise. Well, off the tee, you could lay up here to the fat of the fairway and just have a simple wedge into the green. However, that's not the way we like to roll. The driver was working today, so I'm going to aim at those para bunkers right there that we're flying over right now and go right for the front of the green. The GPS had measured 310 to the front of the green, and with a little wind behind me, that's a perfect number. Nailed this one perfectly right at the front of the green, leaving it about 10 yards short, about 30 yards short of the flag. I had plenty of green to work with, but did not judge this chip shot properly, as the ball ran all the way out to the back of the green, leaving myself 20 to 25 feet coming back for the birdie putt. Not necessarily ideal. Now here, the 16th is going to be the last par four we're facing all day. And deja vu, it's almost like we've seen this par four before. It looks a lot like number three on the front nine and just a big dog leg right all the way around a gigantic lake protecting the entirety of this hole. Aim at those two bunkers down the left. It's going to give you a nice wide area of fairway giving you a great angle into this green, which is really not too protected by the bunkers. Really, it's more protected by the water. You see the bunkers there are really protecting any shots that are bailing out from the water. There's plenty of green grass to roll this ball right on up. Now I took dead aim at those two bunkers out on the edge of the fairway, and unfortunately my aim was a little bit too precise. I was here in the rough and had a comfortable nine iron distance, but just caught it fat out of the rough and landed just short of the green. 
Gonna have to get up and down here for par, and you see we are well below the surface of the green. These greens just roll and roll and roll out. Not something I'm used to on my chip shots for sure. Another 20 foot par putt here. Oh, isn't that brutal? When you hit a perfect putt and it just stops one rotation short. Well, you can't worry about it anymore. Lookout point is the last par three of the day. A perched tee box, you're sitting way up on top looking down at this green. It was about an eight yard adjustment downhill, but then it was straight back into the wind. A flushed seven iron should go 190 yards for me. And this went about 170 down the hill right into the bunker short side of myself here and the ball rolled out once again out of the sand another 20 footer for par i don't like seeing these kind of putts just another bogey coming off that birdie on the par five back-to-back -back bogeys well we got another par five here to finally close it off Hope's Skybox. That's one of the most peculiar names of a golf hole I've seen in a very long time, but it's another gorgeous par five, arcing all the way around the water hazard, all the way to the green. Thread the needle here off the drive. I had enough distance to be able to clear that right-hand bunker, which really opened up the width of this fairway. Now on your approach, head over that next corner bunker to give yourself another wide open fairway down where you see those two carts. And as you're coming into the green, it's really gonna give you a nice angle in, into the green here, hopefully bringing most of the water out of play. Now, with all the different angles on this hole, this wind is gonna come into play in a couple different ways as it does sweep well across this from right to left off the tee. Another smooth drive right down the main street here, just barely off on the right-hand side. I really got my adrenaline going for this shot. I really, really like going for par fives and two. It's my favorite shot on golf. And I just placed this one in the back bunker, a simple up and down for birdie to salvage this back nine and shoot even par on the back nine but another bunker shot that just runs all the way out and 20 to 25 feet, but this time it's for birdie and we've seen this putt a couple times in a row. Let's go, come on. Nice. Subscribe and like the video. We'll see you next time, later.